Captain. Well, what do you think? Well, can I see him? Go, go on, then. I'll I, I tell him he's got to take his prescription. Hi, Dad. Is that Tristan? I came to see if she was nearly finished. Really? She's looking good. Did you put that machine gun at the back like you said? I couldn't find one. I fitted this door. It spits out paper fasteners. It's meant to be drawn pins like what Mrs. Wrigley's run out. She said they was quite sharp, but I don't know if they'd burst a villain's tires. She said they might. Anyway, she's getting some more drawn pins in so we can try those. Hey, I'm not showing you this yet. Get in. Come on. It's good, isn't it? Let's solve some crime. Wow. She's alive, Tris. Maxi Power's finally alive. Hello, Ned. Tris! I think there's a crime to be solved. What? There's a crime going to happen. I heard these blokes in the pub. They're going to rob fags from the cash and carry and then sell them on to the mates at the power station. Come on, Tris. This is it. But it's really late. I know, but we'll miss them if we don't go now. All right, I'm coming down. Smash it. Hello, nerds. Let's solve some crime. Have you found the police? Really there, look. Have you? It's all right. We've got Maxi. We've got to go buy a few rooms as well, Sonny. Look at the sun. I'm warning you. I'm not going back inside, not for no one. Who the hell's that? Go, Maxi, go get them. Please take me on, I'm scared. You'd better lock the doors. There's some bloke and he's bleeding, kid. Go on, ready, Tris? Get out of the car. Let's solve some crime. Get out of the car! Don't worry, Tris. Maxi Power's still got a few tricks up his sleeve. Oh, no. Now what, Ned? Ned? What are we going to do? Oh, no, no, no. 